Hello, gorgeous. Hope you're well, vibing high, living your very best life. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, please give me a like and a subscribe. Everybody who has, thank you so much. Anybody who has donated to my channel in any way, whether it's energetically or monetarily, thank you. You are really, 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 really appreciated. Um, I hope you all are living your very best life or working your way to that. Today, we are just going to see what is coming towards you, Scorpio. If you would like a personal read, you can visit um, ScorpioPriestess.com. I do have a FaceTime as well as video reads there. Um, if you would like to join a group for people in separation, you can do that as well by visiting the link in the bio, I mean, underneath more in this video. So let's get into this energy, guys. Let's get into it. Um, I feel like something's really raw. Uh, in my meditation, I was hearing raw. Um, now I feel like it is the energy is really raw. I feel like energetically, some of you all have been, um, having a harder week or a harder few days or something. Something's been a little harder um, for y'all. I will say that I feel the energy is has been heavy. Um, myself, um, even, I have had to um, do a lot of extra care. Um, I feel like energetically, um, you know, it's winter, it's cold in a lot of places. Um, I, it's just a really heavy, there's a lot of sadness. Um, but... I really feel a energy shift coming. Um, I do. I actually feel so much better today myself. Um, now I've done a lot of meditation and a lot of self care. So if you have been feeling off, keep moving, keep going forward, try to meditate, try to really do a lot of self care. It is going to um, take you far. It will help you. It will help you just start feeling better, right? You won't have any rhyme or reason but you probably don't have any real reason to feel um, down again, right? So yeah, somebody here coming towards you, a lasting promise, this connection will stand the test of time. Damn, Scorpio, lasting promise. You could have somebody coming towards you here. Um, <laughs> it's gonna be a wedding, wedding bells. Again, commitment, union, marriage. Awesome, guys. Y'all, if you are looking for a long-term commitment, um, it is coming. It is coming around the corner. It is going to be very unexpected and possibly a secret admirer. Somebody here is very attracted to you, watching you. You have caught someone's eye. An unexpected event is about to shake shit up, Scorpio. Wow. This could be... Um, somebody you know, somebody you don't know. For some of you, this is somebody you have, you don't even realize that they see you, that they're looking at you. Yeah. See, I feel like you have been in this balancing act of juggling, trying to juggle, um, your feelings or juggle money or, or maybe you're juggling people, but in this balancing act of trying to, um, to maintain yourself, right? Um, I feel something's been very heavy for you, but whatever is coming here is going to really change that. My goodness, I'm loving it. Holy Spirit, give us two more, and then we will clarify three of them, depending on what they are. Yeah, somebody's hiding feelings from you. Awesome, awesome. So much change. This is beautiful, guys. Change, trans transition. Don't let fear keep you from revealing your true feelings. Somebody has been hiding their feelings. Somebody here is a secret admirer, Scorpio, that is going to turn into an, a commitment. Some of you could be in a commitment, but have a secret admirer still um, looking at you, right? Whatever the case is, this is going to be very unexpected. A very unexpected event is about to come. Somebody could be coming clean about the way they feel about you. Um, this could be your twin flame, or this could be somebody, um, well, two of cups, you are going to want to marry. This is going to be a forever person. What is this lasting promise in wedding bells? This is amazing. This is amazing. Oh, see, somebody treated you unfairly. So 
uh, it looks to me like maybe you were, you were in the 10 of cups with somebody, um, right? But they treated you unfairly. And um, it was a lot of aggression, a lot of fast acting, a lot of not um, thinking things through, a lot of things being said, a lot of things being said to one another. Um, you could have been in a commitment with them or you wanted to be in a commitment with them. You wanted the Ten of Cups with them. For some of you, they were already in the Ten of Cups with somebody else. They were already married to somebody else, but they could have made you a promise, right? Made you a promise that you all were going to be together or something like that. We'll get into that a little more here, but let's clarify. What is this unexpected event about to happen? So for some of you, you could be going through a separation or a divorce right now. Um, very burdened by that, but moving on to calmer waters here. Um, and mm, somebody new is coming that has been hiding feelings for you, right? There's a secret admirer or you're hiding feelings for somebody. Maybe you're, you want to approach somebody, Scorpio. Maybe you're going to go shoot your shot. Go, you go. I do feel whatever it is, whatever this unexpected event is, is going to um, allow you to lay down some of these burdens. Something's coming up here that's going to make you um, very happy. This transition, it's time. It's time for a change. Yeah, you've been very indecisive. And um, this is going to happen very fast. Communication coming in, um, that's going to change everything. Probably communication from whoever this secret admirer is. You could possibly enter into a commitment. Some of you, I just heard July. By the end of July, you could be en entering into a commitment with somebody. You could decide to take things to the next level. You could meet this person and it goes very fast. For others, you're reconnecting with somebody um, that you've already had a commitment to. Some of you, you were just friends with benefits with this person and it's going to transition into um, a commitment here. Who is this secret admirer spirit hiding their feelings? Yeah. Somebody you walked away from or somebody who walked away from you, okay? Holding their self back here because they're afraid you're gonna be off with their head. It's like, uh, <laughs> step close to me, motherfucker, watch me. Um, kind of thing, but um, there's two queens showing up, okay? So some of you could be in a same-sex relationship. Um, others, this person is with, is in a commitment already. They are married already, and they are watching you, and they are afraid to approach you because you're coming off as the queen of swords to them. Obviously, they have done something to, um, to you. If you walked away or if they walked away, if a Scorpio has walked away from you, it is for a reason. And by the way, if you are a cross watcher, feel free to switch the energies. You don't have to drag a Scorpio and please don't come to my channel dragging Scorpios. You can feel however you would like, but I, I don't appreciate. Um, this is a safe space for my Scorpios. I just, they don't need to be drug here. We're drug everywhere else. So FYI, if you are a cross watcher, and you have a problem with what I'm saying, I do apologize. I am reading from Scorpio's standpoint. You're welcome to change this around, but I'm not going to um, drag you or your zodiac sign um, because that's not what I do. I understand that everybody has our own path. So please, please feel free to um, just leave. Um, with that being said, this person here, um, could be dealing with another person, okay? They could be already married. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign, a uh, air sign, a Libra, okay? A fire sign. You could be dealing with any of those. You do not have to be. I feel like for some of you, this person um, is hiding their feelings because they're in a commitment with a third party and... Um, not telling you how they really feel. You know, they could have blocked you. They could have really pushed you away, right? This is definitely your twin flame. But for some of you, this person is married. This is a married person um, watching you, a married person who has hidden feelings for you. This could be um, somebody that you've never been with. They could just be married. 
right? And, and, and having a crush on you, somebody you work with possibly, or somebody from the community, or this is somebody who left you for a third party and is now secretly watching you, right? Something unexpected is going to happen though. So tell me with this wedding bells, lasting promise is over here, this 10 of cups in reverse. Yeah, there was a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, a lot of um, indecisiveness here. Um, inner child issues going on as well. You possibly um, were with this person and you all went through a lot together, but they had unwanted habits and were doing things that had no, no, um, you know, they had no business doing, they had no purpose for their growth, had no purpose for your relationship. And it seems to have ended, um, they, they could have left for somebody trashy or, or, or started doing trashy things, right? They have lack of spiritual growth and negative influences from their past. And it, it kept you all from having a happy, committed relationship or um, moving into a happy, committed relationship as well. What is this to us? So somebody here is very confused. Um, wanting to reach out. There's changes. They could possibly see you changing, Scorpio. You could be glowing up. You could be um, working out, really getting your life together, really taking control of your life. They're watching and they're, they're afraid of the transitions that you are going through in your life. And this is why something unexpected is about to happen. They're attached. They're obsessed. They're, they're embarrassed that you're doing better than them too. I feel there's something about their um, insecurities here that has always um, dictated how they've acted. It's always made them, um, their ego so damn big, or, um, you know, they've always constantly had to be fed somehow by other people, money, by, by all sort all of the wrong things, right? This person has a lot of insecurities. They also start to obsess over things. They get obsessed with certain things. They've had hesitancy to um, be intimate, right? They, they've had he hesitancy to actually give you what you deserve in a commitment. They could have always had a side person, for example, or um, always put family and work uh, ahead of you. You could always be like, you know, the third person on their list or something like this, right? You, if they weren't with third parties, it was always something other than you. And now you are taking charge of your life. The time has come. Everything changes, guys. It is just like the seasons. If you are in the winter of your life, baby, hold on because you are almost to spring. And I don't know, I'm from PA, so spring in PA is a beautiful occasion. We love spring here in PA. So springtime is almost here. It is coming, right? It's almost here. There's changes. There's about to be upheavals. There's endings, but yes, uh, yes, there's endings, but there's new beginnings too coming for you. Tell me about Secret Admirer Spirit. Now, what I want to know is why we have to... So let me tell you, some of you have a third party person watching you that's jealous, that's bitter, and they are watching you, okay? Um, some of you, your person's with a third party who um, is jealous and bitter, but your person's watching you and it's not the third party. Do you see what I'm saying? Some of you, if either your person or a third party watching you could be both. Some of you, you're with a person who has a lot of family stress, and that's one of the reasons why you all aren't together. But they also have assumptions. They've made assumptions and fear of, um, about the future. So they tell themselves stories in their mind like, um, oh, this could never work, or I could never leave this karmic, or I could never do this, or I could never do that. And, and that's when they're hiding feelings, right? They're suppressing their feelings. There's silence between you all. You've made a very memorable impact on them. And guys, for some of you, literally your person um, uh, could have violent contact with a third party coming up or just have. They could get physical with this third party. There's something going on there for some of you. Not everybody, but for some of you, there's been violence. There's been um, a lot of chaos. So let's see, who is this queen of pentacles now? For some masculines, you if you date if you date feminines, okay, 
let's just say if you date feminines, you could have two feminines watching you. Um, but in the next six to nine months, um, this person's going to reveal their feelings. Um, the thing is here, you're going to find something out as well about them overindulging with a third party or this third party overindulges in some way. Okay. I feel like your person is contemplating right now. They're spending time alone, um, and really trying to figure out if they should come tell you that they still love you yeah. or if they should reject this third party, like dear John. Okay. Because I, I just was in my mind here clarifying who this third party is. And um, there's something about their relationship being strained. There's something about um, them getting a divorce to this person. So they could be going through a divorce. They could be going through a breakup. And this third party is watching you. This third party is, is, um, is seeing if your person and you have been in contact possibly. Or if you post something that makes them feel like you are. There's something there. Uh, your person has been sacrificing sacrificing y'all's relationship or sacrificing something to, to stay in this relationship. Um, but mm, stress-free, it's about to get really good. Your vibration's about to rise, Scorpio. Honestly, you have an inner knowing here. There's ESP between y'all. You know something's going on with this person, even if you haven't spoke to them. I sense that you know this. There's some divorce happening or some breakup. Your person has been, um, really sacrificing their feelings, sacrificing their life, um, hiding their feelings, and um, they are about to stop doing that. What is unexpected event about to happen, though, Spirit? And so I don't know if it's a message, if it's a call, if you're going to run into them, but a decision is being made, a decision, a final decision. Honestly, guys, again, court orders and, and, and such, there's about to be a divorce for some of them, like an actual legal divorce or, um, child support, um, issues or whatever the case, whatever they have to do to leave this third party, it's about to happen. It's going to be very unexpected. Um, it, it's, they've been in a very disagreeable situation. It has not been good between them and a third party and unexpectedly, they're going to want to fix it with you unexpectedly, they're going to want to work on things with you. They could be in this mode of getting shit done. They're out, they're out here, like really trying to tie up loose ends or do, do whatever they need to do to exit that relationship. Um, tell me about wedding bells. For some of you, you possibly unexpectedly could be getting married or moving in with somebody you're going, it, it's going to be something about communication here, um, on social media, possibly communication, um, verbal communication though. I don't, they may, maybe they may, um, uh, call you, um, FaceTime you. There's something going on here, um, that's going to lead into a commitment. It's going to be like serendipity, wish granted. I just, I sense a FaceTime for some reason or a WhatsApp or a, um, Instagram video, I sense you're going to get a call from them and actually physically see them. Maybe it will be a first, a text message. Then there's going to be a lot of communication on, on the phone here. That's going to lead to commitment is something about the current events that's going on right now as well. That's really going to shock you. Your person is going to come in and ask if you would hear them out. You all have a lot that you could accomplish together too. You know, you could really have a lot together if this person, um, you know, would get their head out of their ass. But the thing is, Scorpio, is you cannot wait. Don't wait. Don't ever listen to one of my readings and say, I'm going to wait. Please don't. Number one, it is a collective reading. Number two, you should never wait. I never, ever want to be the reason why you wait and you don't move on with your life because if you start moving forward, so what? It's not like you have to get married to somebody new. You can experience life. You cannot allow yourself to be held back and, and indecisive and allow this person to take more time from you. You can still be open to loving them, but you can be open to loving yourself first and just live your life. Because at the, in the grand scheme of things, um, you sitting around being sad, 
um, waiting, waiting, waiting is not going to help anything. As a matter of fact, it's going to make, it's going to make the energy even heavier between you all and, and create almost like a, you're going to propel them away. No one compares to you. And I see things differently now. I see things differently now. Whatever their, their confusion was, why, why they're hiding these feelings from you is beyond me. I don't know if they don't, they know they can't come in unless they come correct. I don't know if it's that you told them you're not going to be a third party. So um, they're not coming in until it's completely over. Uh, I, I'm not sure what happened here on why they are suppressing and hiding these feelings. For some of you, this may be your twin flame and they could be the runner and you all never got to a point where you could have a conversation to say you loved one another, right? It could be um, the early stages of union and you could be like literally um, dealing with a runner where they have hid their feelings completely. They have not told you how they feel. You all have not had that discussion about how deeply you feel for one another because maybe there's not a reason why, right? Because when we're dealing with counterparts, you all ask yourself, why the hell do I feel the way I do for this person? I've had more and felt less, right? But it's because it is a soul connection. So for some of you, I get the sense that this person has hid feelings from you um, for a very long time, or they've hid feelings from you um, all together. They have never told you how they felt. I know I can easily go into victim mode. I'm trying to overcome that. It's a pattern. I'm brokenhearted that we aren't together. My heart aches for you, but I won't let you know that. See, for a lot of you, this person has never told you how deeply they feel. This person has never said, Scorpio, um, I feel this way, right? You all have just, I mean, maybe you've talked about um, having feelings for each other, but you've never talked about how deeply you all feel or that you can feel one another when you're not in the room or those things that counterparts feel. I don't know if you've ever had that conversation unless you were married to this person and you were actually with them like in a marriage, in a commitment. Um, for some of you, it, it may not, that may not be the case. This person may have already been involved with somebody else or chose somebody else over you. And you never got to really have that conversation here. And they've been hiding their feelings for all of this time. They have not been telling you. Tell me what's going to happen next, Spirit. There's been some delays, right? This is what I'm saying, love. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't, don't, don't put your life on hold for anybody. There's been delays, there's blockages, there's resistance here, but coming up um, between, I feel July and September, but for some of you, it could be as soon as 21 days. It just depends on where you are on your timeline. The 21st or the 25th of this month and next month could mean something for you. I'm um, hearing, but commitment, marriage, partnership, contract, cooperation, but it's going to be hard work. It's going to take work. And both of you have got to want to work on this. But Scorpio, I feel for a lot of you, you're going to be able to work through this. You're going to be able to have this beautiful union, but do not wait. Just focus on you. Focus on getting better every day. Focus on how you can grow and your happiness. And when this person comes back, the healthier you are, heal it forward. Remember, heal it forward. It's the new saying that everybody's saying. <laughs> We're all saying it. Heal it forward. You heal. People around you heal. Pe people around you start doing the work. People around you, the vibration raises. So heal it forward. Number 24, I am generous. You have a heart of gold and you are very easily skilled at maintaining a balanced, stable relationship. You are loyal to your loved ones and you are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. I am generous. Yes, you are, Scorpio. You have such a beautiful heart. Don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. Um, like I said um, to cross watchers, this is a safe space for you. 
You'll never hear me drag you here because I am a Scorpio sun and moon, and I am extremely proud of that. So with that being said, guys, tell yourself every day and every way I get better and better. I am a winner. All I do is win. Love and light.